I actually never saw it in my clinical rotation. Pterygia and pinguecule are two of the more common ocular disorders or abnormalities that you may find in the primary care setting. A pinguecula is a benign yellow white nodule on the bulbar conjunctiva, most often located on the medial aspect of the eye. And a pterygium is also a benign growth, but it's more of a fibrovascular conjunctival tissue that extends onto the surface of the cornea instead of being limited to the uh, conjunctiva alone. The pathogenesis of both these conditions is multifactorial and not completely understood. We do, however, know that there is a good association between UV light exposure and their development. And though pterygia and pinguecule themselves carry no real malignant potential, it's still important to rule out any possible similar eye disorders that would worry us, such as ocular squamous cell neoplasm. Both pinguecule and pterygia usually grow slow over time and typically manifest between the ages of 20 and 50. Common eye complaints include itchiness, redness, dry eyes, foreign body sensation, and in later stages of the disease, pterygia may actually affect vision and induce astigmatism by physically deforming the, the cornea. Pinguecule appears as an elevated yellow white lesion immediately adjacent to, but not encroaching upon the cornea. They can become inflamed sometimes, which you may see some dilated blood vessels in this case. Pterygium may be more white and translucent with a more wing-like appearance with the wider portion of the wing uh, being on the conjunctiva, the white part of the eye, with the point of the wing encroaching and extending onto the cornea itself. Both conditions are diagnosed clinically. A slit lamp eye examination may help visualize the extent of both these conditions. However, a close examination of the eye with the naked eye uh, usually is enough. Some things that may help distinguish between these two conditions from other eye abnormalities is the use of a fluorescein stain. These conditions don't involve any actual damage uh, or breakdown of the epithelial tissue of the eye, so they won't stain strongly under that uh, under that, that cobalt blue light. And they may lack the acute pain or photophobia that's associated with other eye disorders. Initial treatment for both these conditions is to help alleviate symptoms. And so we might look at prescribing things like eye drops for dry and itchy eyes. We also should talk about UV protection with the patients. Medications such as vasoconstrictors like tetrahydrozolin and nafazolin, these should be avoided because long-term use of these can re result in rebound inflammation. Now inflamed pterygia and pinguecule usually respond well to a short course of topical steroid drops such as uh, lodopredinol uh, or fluoromethylone. These are one to two drops four times a day for up to two weeks usually. Now a follow-up should be made in two weeks, especially if treatment was prescribed. And as always, if symptoms don't respond well or good enough or at all to pharmacological or non-pharmacological treatments, then a referral to ophthalmology would be the next step.